What's going on everybody? This is Time Man and today uh, I've decided to make a little tutorial thingy for syncing your audio between OBS and Audacity when you go to a, an editor program. So this is pretty basic, just showing you if you know how to use OBS, you know how to use Audacity, and you know how to use an, uh, a video editing program. The hardest part, well for me, was to get good quality audio that is also synced because if you just record in OBS it only has a single audio stream so your game audio and your mic audio is all at the same level which sometimes you don't want that so the easiest way is to have uh, your audacity record your vocals and whatnot and OBS just record the game sounds but to get that to sync is a pain in the ass but I've figured out a way that works I would say 100% of the time for a perfect sync and I'm gonna sync a new video up that I'm about to film right here so with the uh, gold saucer and 14 the I'm gonna play the mini cat pot win some money yahoo well that has nothing to do with the video but uh, so anyway anytime I start recording I start recording in Audacity. Now you can see me talking over here. See, look at that. Woohoo! And then on OBS, uh, before I start recording, I make sure my microphone is on. So if I just preview, you can see my microphone is working right here. So that's good. Uh, so basically, all you do is turn your microphone on on OBS while Audacity is recording, which I'll just cancel all that out. Uh, you say something and then clap and then turn your microphone off on OBS and you'll have at least the beginning of it to sync it up properly. So quick run through. Here we go. So start recording on there and then start recording on OBS. Right now no sync whatsoever. So I hit play or hit record at different times. But if I go one, two, three, and a clap you can see this big old spike right there and then if I turn my mic off on OBS OBS is no longer gonna get any feedback from my microphone so just to show you I mean it's not recording my microphone anymore and then I'm gonna play mini keck pot real quick yes win some money yeah money yeah yeah Yeah. Hey, I just won 10,000. You are my lucky friends. 10K, I'm getting hairstyle, baby. But, anyway. So, me winning the grand prize on the mini cat pot is something different, but uh, it'll go to show you that my Audacity file and my file over here will be completely different. So, I'll go ahead and stop recording and stop recording on that. And now I do have to save my audio file, which I already have right there. Save. Replace. Okay. Now I'm getting out of this game. Exit. Yes. And now you go to your editing program. Actually, let me get all this out of here. Clear. Uh... So you have your two files, well I have multiple files, but you have your audio, which is right here, which I'll drag into Premiere. And this process will work no matter what uh, video editing program you use. I use Premiere because I kind of learned it in school, so you know, you should have no problem doing the same thing. Maybe this is the right one. Name your files things you can you can uh, keep up with, folks. Turn on OBS. Right now, no sync whatsoever. So I hit play or hit record at different times. Okay, that's the correct one. So, okay, so now I'll probably just cut all that out. But, so right now we have two files in our video editor of choice. We have our actual, our file from Audacity. Start recording on there. 
and start recording on OBS. Right now, uh, as you no can see, it's just my play. vocals, which you probably thought that was just me talking because it probably sounds exactly the same. And then we have our video file. But if I go one, two, three, and a clap. Okay, so uh, in Premiere, I like to new sequence from clip so it keeps the same stuff, all the same uh, settings. And now, if you zoom in, we want to add our audio, right to that two, and then get it to where we can see the waveform. So now, if we play, it's going to be all sorts of. Yes. Right now, no sync whatsoever. It's a hit and play or hit record at different times. Right. See, it did not sync at all. But you know, that's the easy part. And so what we got to do is cut this clip down, cut our, our Audacity file, because we hit that record first, and don't accidentally change the decibels on that, and drag it over. And now, the reason why I clap is because you see the huge spike, and you see this line right here? That's the WAV file of the spike. Like if I turn this one off and play that. You'll hold me. Three, three two, one. And clap. Three. Oh, I guess I said one, two, three. But anyways. But you can hear that clap. And then if I turn off my other audio and listen to over here. Three. Clap. And clap. You clap. hear the, the audio is right there. So all you have to do is... Drag that over there. You can make it bigger. Actually, that's not bad. So let's do it. Three. Wait, turn both the audio channels back on to be nice. Three. And a clap. You can see this big old spike right there. And then if I turn my mic off on OBS. So that's a good indicator of the sync's probably not 100%. But it is pretty gosh darn close. So if we just listen to this couple of seconds here, you'll see when I turn OBS off in the window here, or when I turn the microphone OBS off, and it and my vocals are still going with it. And a clap, you can see this big old spike right there. And then if I turn my mic off on OBS, OBS is no longer going to get any... So, perfect example. You just saw it happen there, folks. Uh, nearly perfect sync. I mean, and then I can kind of... This big old spike. That's probably it right there. I mean, you could probably even then just nudge. Actually, it's probably as close as it can possibly get. And a clap. You can see this big old... So, it's not even a millisecond off of... The audio is not even a millisecond off right there. So... You know, that's good. And that's pretty much all there is to it. And now your audio is synced properly for the entirety of the rest of the video. Quick. Yes. When so my voice actually matches with what I'm doing on screen. And, uh, I mean, syncing is very important. I mean, if you mess it up, it's gonna look stupid. It's gonna sound stupid. You're gonna have like a reaction like, ah, but nothing happens on screen. And then like four seconds later, something happens. Or maybe not four seconds, but maybe like, you know, half a heartbeat. It still messes it up. So sync is very important. Important. But anyway, uh, that's the gist of it to get your audio synced with uh, OBS and audacity and i'll probably be making some other tutorials like how to set obs up 
here in a little while, but there's already a lot of those. So, but anyway, all right. Well, uh, thanks a lot for coming out, and uh, you know, if you like this video, like it, yeah, and comment on it, and uh, yeah, and celebrate my winning of the cackpot for the ten thousand GP thing. Yahoo! But anyway, thanks a lot for coming out, and I'll check y'all next time.